Okay, guys. Hello, hello, hello. We're live on both. Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys for joining. Let me. Get both going. Try to get these frames set up. All right, cool. Perfect, you guys. So I'm going to talk about macros and calories today. This will not be really long. It's probably going to be maybe 10 minutes. So um, calories, macros, like what's the deal? So when it comes down to deciding if you're going to be someone that max tr that tracks macros you have to really understand like what is really the science behind what's going on when it comes to you choosing to do this for a fat loss goal for a weight loss goal just eating better you know being more mindful but like the science behind what is happening with your weight what's happening with your body composition and is this also something that is going to be a huge change for you? So I did a post a few days ago um, about calories and macros and what they are and then what the, difference, um, what the difference is between them. Because people think that they're completely different things, but they are actually one in the same. So um, calories is a source of energy. It is what we need to do with eating and thinking and breathing, living, all of that stuff. So everything is going to be um, utilized that we do every day from calories. And macros are also calories. Macros are basically the subunits of the food that we are consuming and breaking down those calories into three groups. And they're going to be protein and they're going to be carbohydrates and they're going to be fats. If you are someone who has tracked calories, you're also tracking macros, but with you're just looking at them through a different lens. If you are someone tracking macros, you're also tracking calories. So if you track one, um, you're also tracking the other, but your point of view of what you're shooting for can be different. Hey guys, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so most people start off calorie tracking. And then when they get stuck, and we'll talk about that in a second, then they go and they do macro tracking, which is really leveling it up. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Macros are a game changer. If you switch to tracking macros, I promise you, you're probably not going to go back to um, doing anything else. As long as you, you hang in there long enough to get through the learning curve. You're not doing anything else. I can guarantee you um, if you're not someone that has like a history of disordered eating and things like that, and you can really prioritize, put yourself first. If you, if you learn to track macros, you're not going to go back. So going back to calories and macros, tracking calories is kind of like, you know, I won't say it's the top of the pyramid, it's the bottom of the pyramid. Um, and so calories are just the baseline. And then macros is just a more refined way of food awareness of looking at where are these protein, these proteins, these carbs and, the, and these fats actually coming from. And I want to explain to you guys how I got here, how I lost 150 pounds with a progression from calories versus macro tracking. So before we get to that, let's really talk about the science of calories and macros and going a little bit deeper and why some people decide to switch from calorie tracking alone to get a better result versus macro tracking. So calories are what we consume for the energy that we need for in our bodies, like I said earlier. But your calorie intake is actually what's determining this weight on the scale. So if you're eating exactly what you need, your maintenance calories, you should maintain weight. If you're eating in a surplus and there's no hormonal issues, which is a whole other topic, you'll gain weight. Um, and then if you're eating below what you need, um, you'll lose weight. And let me say that one more time because I might have <laughs> said it backwards, but eating what you need, you'll maintain. Eating in a surplus more than you need every day, you'll gain. And then eating less than your total daily energy expenditure um, and there's no issues, you should lose weight. 
So your calories are your driver of what your weight is going to be. That is the first thing in any goal that you have to address for it to be effective. Like eating clean and eating healthy is definitely just not going to be enough. And we can talk about that in a whole nother live. Um, but eating clean is not enough. You have to have a number to drive your weight. You have to have a calorie goal that you're shooting for to either maintain, to gain, or lose. That's just what it is. That's the science of it. Um, no matter which way you cut it, your weight will always be driven by the calories you eat. So even if that's a meal plan, if you're doing meal replacement shakes, you're doing whatever plan, if the calories are not right, you're not going to hit the weight goal. So that's like the bottom of the period. You got to get the calorie goal set to what you guys are going um, to need for whatever the goal is. So calories are, are is what is going to drive your weight. And the body composition that people are after, that's going to be driven by macros. So calories, no matter what, like that's going to contribute to what your weight is. But how you look, how you perform in your metabolism is going to come to the breakdown of those calories. So if your calorie goal every day is, six, is 1,600 calories, someone can eat that with clean foods, fruits, grains, veggies, lean cooked meals, not frying and battering everything, not eating a bunch of Twinkies, Ho-Hos, Ding Dongs, whatever. Um, you can eat 1,600 calories and lose weight. And because you're eating more whole foods, clean foods, you're probably going to look a little bit better than 1,600 calories of you eating two meals of Taco Bell and McDonald's. Can you eat 1,600 calories of Taco Bell and McDonald's um, every day and lose weight? Absolutely. Back again the calories. If that is a deficit and less than what your body needs to maintain weight, Yes, I'm not telling you to do this, but you can eat Taco Bell and McDonald's every single day and potentially lose weight. Are you going to feel your best? Is your metabolism going to be optimized? Are you going to probably look how you want? Probably not. So macros, they come in and that's like the next level of the pyramid of importance. Macros are what is going to help change your body composition. And so if you're looking to lose weight, but also look like you've lost weight, look leaner, have more definition, muscle tone, like everybody's like trying to say, I want to get fit and tone. That is going to happen with two things, macros and weight training. You cannot go on a liquid diet and think that you're about to have abs and have like shoulder definition, bicep definition, at like everything, like all the things that you're wanting definition in your legs. If you're not tracking macros and making sure that you're getting enough of the protein, carbs, and fats that you're needing for muscle creation, um, um, in enhancing your metabolism, optimizing it, making sure that you're eating enough fats that are helping with your digestion, your gut health, getting all of the water um, and non uh, water soluble and non soluble vitamins where they need to, like all of that stuff goes into play. You guys have to be eating the appropriate um, portions of macros specifically to you, your age, your height, your weight, your goals, your activity level, your dieting history, um, also down to do you have any health conditions, all of that stuff. Your macros need to be customized to you, but your macros are your calories. Macros add up to calories and your calories are broken down into macros. Like they're basically a circle um, and they cycle and they are equal to each other. Tracking calories alone is not going to get you the banging body and the strength and all the stuff that you're wanting. If you're wanting to grow your booty, like eating 1600 calories of junk, it's not going to happen. If you're not eating carbs, it's not going to happen. If you're not eating enough protein, like that stuff is not going to happen. So again, calories are going to be the driver of your weight. And then macros are going to change your body composition, um, potentially enable you to eat more food than ever, maintain your weight, maintain your, your weight loss, your fat loss, all of that stuff, um, have a more flexible metabolism, have better gut health, look better, have more muscle tone. Like I can eat 18, 19, 2000 calories and lift every day of like whatever fits 1800, 1900, 2000 calories um, and look one way, but if I'm focusing on my macro tracking of 18,000 and 2,000 calories, I'm going to look completely different. And this is exactly what happened to me in my progression from calorie tracking to macro tracking and losing 150 pounds. So when I started off trying to lose weight, 
All I wanted to do was take everything that I knew um, about science and nutrition and create my own program because I was doing all of this bullshit that I couldn't keep up. And it was all disgusting stuff. I've done liquid diets. I've done um, fruit smoothie kind of like things temporarily, Special K, Weight Watchers, um, Atkins, Mediterranean, if I didn't say that, like a form of the military diet. Um, like high protein, no carb, like you name, I've done everything, like everything I've done two to three weeks and I've probably done it two or three times. So I realized it wasn't the foods and the food types that were helping me lose weight. Like a liquid diet is not going to help you lose weight. You can drink smoothies all day long, but if it's too many calories, you're going to gain weight. You can do an all fruit diet, an all fruit and veggie diet. If it's too many calories, you still can potentially gain weight. And it's not always about what you eat, it's how much. And so none of that garbage matters about how many meals a day, how many times a day you eat. It's the total number of calories. That's the bottom of that pyramid. The total number of calories is what matters. So I started tracking calories. That made me lose weight right away. Even though I didn't know exactly where my calories should be because I hadn't been tracking before for a baseline, but that made me lose weight because I started looking at all the garbage I was eating. I was eating McDonald's, double cheeseburger and a value size fry every day, Philly steak and cheese subs from Arby's, um, Pizza Hut, like anything, General So chicken, like everything. Tracking alone made me start to lose weight because I was looking at what I was eating. Then I was like, all right. I'm eating too much. Let's really try to stick to the calorie goal. Set a calorie goal. Boom. Started losing weight. Started losing weight. Didn't look as well as I should. So I was like, you know what? I think it's because I'm also eating crappy foods. I was eating McDonald's. I was eating Taco Bell. Everything all into my calorie goal. So then it became a thing of I probably should eat better, but I don't really want to. Born, born, you know, gr growing up eating like corn, fried potatoes, all of that stuff. I did not necessarily wanted to change the way I eat. I ate, but I wanted to lose more weight. I wanted to lose more fat, and I wanted to look better. So instead of just like tracking calories and eating all of the BS that I was eating, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start trying to eat some fruits, trying to eat some vegetables. This was my introduction pre-2013 to flexible dieting of me creating flexible dieting for myself. I created flexible dieting from negotiating with myself with my calorie intake because I wanted to look better and eating like 1,500 or 1,600 calories of McDonald's and Taco Bell, you can only eat so much food. I was counting my calories and I was hungry and I did not look like I wanted to and I kept hitting plateaus. So... I started negotiating with, okay, if I can take away a serving of French fries and have some salad, the salad calories are less, I can eat more of some other stuff, I'll be fuller. So I literally started flexible dieting with swapping out and negotiating with, okay, we can still fit in a couple of Oreos if you don't eat the French fries, you replace the French fries with the salad. Okay, if you replace, you know, eating, you know, the fried rice or whatever with the Chinese food with eating the steamed vegetables, the steamed vegetables are less calories. Okay, we can get more food in like you'll be able to be a little bit hungry. You won't be as hungry. Like it was literally a negotiation process. This was pre all of the macro tracking out there, pre flexible dieting, if it fits your macros. I was negotiating with myself to eat better so that I could feel better and look better because I was not <laughs> I was not full on just eating tracking my calories and trying to still like eat the bullshit like I had to be honest with myself I was eating the bullshit and I needed to stop so everything started with a negotiation process so this is how I went tracking my food then it was the calorie goal then it was like okay I'm hungry so let's negotiate swapping out some bad with some good that's where my 80 20 of flexible dieting was born I eat 80% clean every single day and then 20% of my day is whatever I want to have. Like I had chocolate last night, I had like flavored peanut butter, um, I think I had like some cookies midday, like I'm flexible with everything. Because I also learned about myself that calorie tracking, whatever it is, whatever, like meal replacements, if I can't do it long term, 
Um, I can't do it forever. And I am not willing to change all of my food. I am not willing to take all of my chocolate. I eat chocolate every single day. I'm not taking out my cookies. I'm not taking my runs to get coffee. Like I'm not doing it. If I can't do it forever, like I'm not going to do it. I know that I'll quit. I'll start over again. And so I made basically a decision with myself of you hit these calorie goals and you can have 20% of whatever you want every day and then 80% of the healthy stuff. And so my body started changing. And then when I learned about macro tracking, it became, okay, now to get to the next plateau. I got the calories down. I've got my tracking. It's regular. I'm getting in all the little things that I love. And I was like, let's like, let's tighten it up. Like, let's put more um, action into place with goals that I'm going to be hitting every day. So calorie goal ended up turning into macro goals. Um, and I had protein, carbs, and fats as a goal every day. So like I said, you guys, you can eat 1,600, 2,000 calories of bullshit every day, <laughs> every single day. And if it's only a calorie goal, some days your protein is going to be 25. Some days it's going to be 140. Some days it's going to be 77. Some days, if you're only calorie tracking, your fat is going to be 45 grams. Go out for big juicy steak, lobster mac and cheese. Your fat that day is probably 125. And then the next day when you like reel it back in, then your fat might be 77. Calorie tracking is not consistent because you can literally fit all kinds of food and BS and you can also have your macros, your protein, carbs, and fats all over the place. For me to be able to realize how to adjust what I was doing, I needed data that was solid. And the only way to have solid data was to also get away from the calorie tracking and flexible dieting only, only and setting protein, carbs, and fats, fat goals. So, that, so that's when I started researching how to do macros, how to set them for myself. Um, that was 2014. Started teaching people 2015. Started teaching coaches 2017. Then my certification was born. So literally all I've been doing um, for the past eight years is teaching macros to people and making science, math, nutrition, and eating your Oreos and having your cake too fun. Regular people, regular coaches. But back to what I was saying, once I added in the macro goal, again, I went from tracking food to calorie goal to flexible calorie tracking to now macros, my body freaking changed. Completely changed. I started losing fat like crazy. One year, I think it was 2016, I only lost two pounds, but I lost 20 inches of fat. I went from a size, let me see, I went from a size eight to a size two because I was tracking macros. I started losing all the fat on my body. My metabolism, metabolism became more efficient. I ate more food than ever because I started tracking macros. And there was consistency in my data. Then I learned how to adjust. I learned how to adjust my, my clients' macros because I was the freaking experiment. And then I started teaching coaches how to do it and created a full blueprint. And then we trademarked macro mentorship. And that took off back in um, December 2018. But I had to get away from not having aware eating. I had to start tracking so I could face myself and go, yep, you eat a bunch of bullshit. You eat fast food every single day. Um, you really love chocolate. There's nothing wrong with it, but you're not going to get to the goal without a plan. So to become aware, I had to track. And then I had to like, bring in a calorie goal to actually get a result. And then I just kept refining along the way. Like I created my own eating plan based off of all the BS that I love to eat and I still get to eat it. And it's all in macro tracking. Like I do everything um, that I used to do back when I was overweight, but on like a health in a healthier way. Like it became a negotiation of like whole eggs to egg whites. It became a negotiation of like the fattiest steak to filet mignon. I'm still having steak. It became a negotiation of um, a whole Snickers bar to like three pieces of Dove chocolate. Like it literally was negotiations with flexible dieting. Every time I have ever changed my, the way I was eating completely, I failed every time. That's why I stopped doing other people's programs and I learned nutrition and I learned science because if you don't focus on 
basic nutrition and the law of thermodynamics and also balancing your hormones, you're going to start over all the time. So that's why I sought out to be a macro coach. I got away from meal plans. I got away from meal replacement stuff. I taught people how to meet themselves where they're at and learn how to track macros with the stuff that they already eat. Because if you make a 360 degree change, um, you're going to start all over like constantly. And so that's when our first macro coaching program was born. Then we had macro makeover. Um, Macros 101 is enrolling right now. Um, But that's why we created those programs because everybody is just like me. Everybody is just like you. You don't quit because you're weak. Good tasting foods are tempting. If they're in your house, if they're not in my house, I'm going to fuck them up. Good tasting foods are hard to say no to. So why not create a program for yourself with your own customized numbers that are perfect for you and they won't work with your best friend, they're not going to work with your mom, they're not going to work with your sister, but why not create a program and a way of eating that is already similar to what you're eating? I'm not saying you can have like the Taco Bell and like the 700 calorie Starbucks shakes. You're going to have to make modifications. There's going to be a negotiation every single day um, of how can you eat more and be full and be healthy, but still eat some of the fun stuff. It's going to be a negotiation process and it gets easier. I went from absolutely eating no vegetables, like none. Only like lettuce on top of tacos. That was it. So now I love Brussels sprouts. Like I eat even vegetables for breakfast, tons of vegetables in my omelets. The idea of eating an egg white omelet, I was so disgusted before. But I eat the egg white omelet in the morning because I want to eat the chocolate bar later. Like I have to negotiate. You can't have every single thing. Like I'm not going to be the nutritionist that tells you you can eat all the bullshit every day. You can eat pop tarts. But there is a negotiation that you can go through to have a better you but not give up who you are with eating. And that is what happened when I got away from trying to just eat healthy and trying to just eat calories and focus on calorie tracking. And I started focusing on macros. Um, With calories, I was eating um, not enough carbs, too much fat, and too little protein. That's how I would naturally eat till I learned how to track. Now I can eat like this, maintain my weight, and I don't even have to track. So... That is that on macros and calories. But I do have some questions that I see here. And so I'm going to answer them. I don't see any on Facebook. I know I have them on Instagram. Yes, Anna, the type of calories matters for your body composition. Um, And those of you guys that are listening, um, if you want to come to my fat loss workshop tonight, just DM me workshop and I'll give you the link. And you guys can hop on the workshop with us tonight at 8 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, just comment um, or you'll have to probably DM me because these will disappear. Um, But DM me and let me know. We have a fat loss workshop tonight at 8 p.m. You get a workbook, print it off, fill out the stuff as I teach, I talk. I'm literally going to talk to you guys like I'm talking to you now um, so that it is understandable. Hey, you guys. Hey, Janine. Hey, Heather. Ina is here. I see a bunch of my macro mentorship coaches on here. Ooh, past clients, current clients. I see new Macros 101 people that are starting with us. Oh, and for Macros 101, you guys, the early bird um, ends on Thursday. Yeah, so make sure you guys get registered for that. And we calculate your macros in Macros 101. So don't be freaked out. It's for beginner to intermediate people. We calculate your macros and then teach you everything I've been teaching you guys on here. Like we teach you guys how to do that. Um, do you work with vegan or plant-based clients? Absolutely. freaking lutely Yes. Um, I would probably say over the course of our coaching since 2015, probably 20% of our clients have been plant-based at some time. So if you guys join Macros 101, um, there's an intake form that you guys fill out. And you'll be letting us know if you're plant-based because there are specific macros that we create for you guys if you are plant-based. Um, Ina said, I'm counting and entering my macros for more than 700 days in a row. It's a habit. 700 days, you guys. Non-stop. Like, she hasn't missed it. She's a coach. So she's like walking the walk. Let's see what else you guys hear. Yep. 
Um, Insta Pamanondas. Pamanondas. Sorry if I'm messing up the name. When you're reading it live and you don't have a chance to practice it, you might mess it up. Oh, great. I want to learn all of this. So, yeah, DM me if you want to join our Macros 101 um, where we set your macros. I teach every single week in Macros 101. Um, live, it's not pre recorded. We have a Facebook group so you guys can understand this stuff. Like, we literally help you guys. Um, fail forward and coach you to success because we know what it's like to give up everything and then start all over like to start a new program every two weeks um, that was me that was me you guys have degrees in science and I was still just doing what everybody else was doing so I'm no different than anybody else I was doing the special k diet slim cat the slim fast diets I did weight watchers I think at least three times um, I'm the same as you just because I have a background in science, it doesn't mean that I did not fail. Like, I had to fail my way to losing 150 pounds. Thank you, Crystal. Eve is the best. And she's amazing, you guys. She's lost a lot of freaking weight, too. Um, but, like, I'm no different than nobody else. I'm the same as every client that we've coached. Um, we've coached over 2,000 clients on macros. On macros. And all of them say that they'll never go back. But... Cool, you guys. We went a little bit over. Wanted to make sure I answered these questions and stuff too. I'll put this video up if you guys got on there late. But, um, you know, message me, DM me, Fat Loss Workshop if you guys want to view that workshop. Macros 101 is open for coaching. Like I said, we set the macros for you guys. We set them. Don't freak out. We set your custom numbers for you and you do a midpoint check-in so that you guys will be good to go. But... Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll see you guys at 8 o'clock tonight. Fat loss workshop. Um, I'll be doing some um, coaching and Q&A stuff at the end. So that's it, you guys. Have a great one. Bye.